fonts are one of the most important aspects of web applications so let's take a look and see how we can include fonts and exactly how we can download new fonts Browsers come with a generic font, generally it's going to be something along the lines of Times New Roman. But many of times you don't want that in your website, many of times you don't want to be using that generic font on your website. And this is where font families come in, and you can change the font family and you can actually download new font families as well. Changing your font family is pretty straightforward, and a lot of times you'll see developers selecting the HTML tag and including it directly in the HTML tag. This is because fonts are generally inherited directly and changing it at the highest level possible, the HTML tag, will change it throughout your entire website. So to change your font family, all you have to do is go over to the CSS and we're going to just select the HTML tag and let's change the font family to a monospace. Now monospace is considered a generic family name and what that means is you specified a general idea of what kind of font you want and you've left it up to the browser to figure out the rest. And this is what's considered a fallback font. Now whenever you specify a fallback font your browser is going to look on your computer and find the best font within that fallback fonts family. So whenever I specified monospace I didn't actually specify the font monospace I specified the family monospace and if we inspect this here bring up the inspector you can see rendered fonts here is consolos or however you say that word that's what the actual font that's being displayed and it's found that font on my computer basically saying this is a monospace font here you go here is your monospace font and it does this because not every font is available on every computer. So what may be this consolas for me may be something completely different for you. Well that's great and all, but how do we include different fonts? Well one of the easiest ways to include different fonts is by using Google Fonts. We can find that by just doing a Google search for Google Fonts. Now this is the Google Fonts website and we can find all kinds of different fonts on here completely for free. So let's see if we can find a good font that we want to use. So this one looks like a good font. Let's go ahead and use this one. So whenever we click on it, we're presented with a customization screen. Now this customization screen allows us to select the different types of fonts that we want. So we could select the light, we could select italic, we could select uh, bold. So let's go ahead and select the regular and let's go ahead and select the 700 bold. Now it's going to give us this side panel which not only shows us what fonts we've got included but it also gives us some code that we can include in our website. This is the link that we need to use to link to this font so that we can download it from Google every time that something is loaded. So we'll go ahead and copy that and now let's go ahead over to our code and let's include that in our header file. So we'll just go ahead and paste that there. That's just a bunch of Google stuff. We don't have to worry too much about that. But this over here, we can also copy the CSS rules. So let's go ahead and copy that as well. And let's include that as our font family over here. And it's already specified font family as well, just like that. So we've got Roberto condensed and then the fallback font is going to be the sans serifs. Now the fallback font is only in case it cannot get this font. Maybe Google fonts is down or something like that. It will automatically fall back to this generic font. And now with both our header information included and our font family included and our HTML, we can go ahead and save that and you can see the font has changed. And it's gone ahead and grabbed that font directly from Google and since we included the 700 bold it's automatically defaulted this h1 to the bold style whereas this p tag is automatically defaulted it to the regular style and those font weights we can also change those as well so if we wanted to change that h1 tag to a lighter font weight we could select that h1 tag and we could say font weight and we can set it to that 400 weight that we downloaded from Google. 
And if I save that, you can see that it's changed the weight or the boldness of that text. And if we wanted to change the weight of that P tag as well, we could go ahead and do that just by selecting the P tag and selecting the font weight. And we could set that to that 700 bold if we would like as well. Now we can only use the font styles that we downloaded from Google. Some of the fonts will have many different styles, including heavier weights or lighter weights, and some of them only have like one or two styles. You'll just have to look to see what kind of styles they have included and download the ones that you need for that specific font. And that's about it for Font Family and Google Fonts. If you did like the video, make sure you slap a like on it. Check out the full playlist, link is right next to me. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.